All right, we're going to continue on here with some geometry. Um, some kids like it, some kids don't. I don't know, I kind of like geometry um, and that basic algebra, linear algebra. Um, anyway, here we go. Uh, points A, negative 4, 1, 0, 9, 4, 2 are plotted on the diagram below. Uh, the diagram shows lines A, B, L1, and L2. Okay, find the gradient of A, B. Okay, that's not a problem. We can do that. Um, gradient of A, B. So that's going to be right here. Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, you can take two points and count up and over. Remember that gradient is rise over run. Take you back to your algebra days. So, you know, if you have rise over run between two points, it doesn't matter how you do it. Up two over one. So, you know, this is two over one, you know, which is two. Or <clears throat> you can use the gradient formula, which is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we'll just pick two points on that. Well, two of the points they had there were, um, let's see, b is 0, 9. And a is, what's a? Um, negative 4, 1. Okay, so this would be um, uh, x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1, so it would be, um, well, we're going to get negatives on this, that's all right. 1 minus 9 over um, negative 4 minus 0, so you get negative 8 over negative 4, and that equals 2. Okay, obviously you get the same thing, you can do it two ways. Um, in the mark scheme, it, it shows this work, but if you put, you know, just this answer, you're fine. Okay, so it says line L1 um, passes through C and is parallel um, to AB. Oh, okay, so if this is parallel, it has the same slope. So this, the or gradient, excuse me, I'm American, so I always say slope. Um, so this, you know, M is 2 here. Okay, so, because they're parallel, they have the same slope. Write down the y-intercept. Okay, now, normally you might have to write an equation for this, but if we follow this down, let's see, it's going down 2 over 1. Let's see if it actually runs into it. Down 2 over 1. Oh, it's perfect. It So, it you can actually, when you have a, a grid like this, a coordinate plane, you can actually count on it, which is nice. So this is going to run in at 0, negative 6. So for the y-intercept right there, I would say 0, uh, negative 6. Make sure you write the point correctly. Um, if you just put y equals negative 6, you'd still get points, but it's it's better form to put the whole coordinate. Okay, so I moved it down here, and I, I just erased off the grid. It says line 2 passes through A and is perpendicular to B, or to AB. Okay, that's fine. Um, Write down the equation of L2. Um, give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus D equals 0, where A, B, and D are an element of integers. Okay, this is going to be kind of a pain, but um, remember that the AB, the slope here is 2. So the slope of this line, if it's perpendicular, is going to be the negative reciprocal. So you just take 2 over 1. Uh, you flip it over, so it's going to be negative 1 half is going to be m here. And remember, you have this formula, y equals mx plus c. We need to find what, out what the y-intercept is here. Um, x and y, we can just take this point. Well, we know a is part of the point, right? So that's negative 4, 1. So that's going to be our point that we use, negative 4, 1. And our m, remember, is negative 1 half. Okay, so this is going to be our x. This is going to be our y. We'll just sub it in. So we get, um, let's see, 1 equals m, which is negative 1 half, times negative 4 plus c. So let's see, what's negative 1 half times negative 4, which would be 2. So 1 equals 2 plus c. So c is going to equal, if you move the 2 over, you're going to get negative 1. Okay. So we can, re we can write this in um, slope-intercept form or gradient-intercept form, which is y equals negative one-half x um, minus one. Now, they want it in standard form here with everything moved over, um, which is fine. We can do that, no problem. 
Um, I'll just move everything over first, so I'll move these two over. So I'm going to get, um, I'll put it in order too. So I'm going to get one half x because I moved that over plus y uh, plus one equals zero. And now they want it as an element of integer, so we have to get rid of this denominator. So we can just multiply this whole thing by two. So two times one half is just x. Two times y is two y plus 2 equals 0. And there you go. That's our answer right there. Kind of a long way to go for it. Um, you know, if you like algebra, eh, takes you back to, you know, 8th or ninth grade. Okay, so write down the, let's look at part D. Write down the coordinates of point D, which is the intersection of L1 and L2. Okay, well, I'm guessing that since this is only one mark, if we follow along the pattern here of down 1, it's over 2, we can see where this is going. Down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. Yeah, I was right. So 2, negative 2 is where it's going to cross. Right there. So that's going to be our D. So, you know, just follow the pattern. If you have a ruler on you, just draw a ruler. You'll see where, right where it goes through. Um, okay, so that's going to be D right there. All right, so as we continue on here, I've moved to another page just because these graphs take up a lot of space. Um, this would all be on one page in, on a paper two problem, but there's a point R on L1, okay? So there's a point R here that makes A, B, R, D a rectangle. So, we're, okay, A, let's see, what do they want? A, B, R, D. Oh, okay, so they want a rectangle, so it's going to be over here somewhere. Well, um, write down the coordinates of R. Well, the best way to do that is just, you know, to look for the, the pattern here of what is it doing. Well, from up here, you know, it's going from what? You're going from what? 1 to 9, and then you're going from negative 4 to 0. So you're going up 8 and over 4. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing here um, because the, you know, a rectangle has parallel sides. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 2... Four. Uh, perfect. So you'll notice that this goes whoop, and you have your rectangle. Bam! Nice. Okay, cool. So what's our point there? 6-6. Six, six. All right, 6-6. Six, six. If I were 6-6, six, six, I would not be in the NBA. I'd just be 6-6. Six, six. All right, anyway. Okay, the distance between A and D um, is the square root of 45, okay? Find the different distance between D and R. Okay, well, this is just a distance formula. We can do that, no problem. Um, let's see, and let me just write the distance formula for you. Distance equals um, square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. Okay, and so let's find these two points. We have what? Two in, D is D is two and negative two. Okay, and R is again six and six. And you got you'll get follow through even if you didn't get some of these answers right. So keep keep with it. Um, so let's just sub it in here. Um, so we go. Okay, so x one y one x two y two. So D equals the square root of, um, let's see, 6 minus negative 2. So it's going to be 6 plus 2 squared plus um, 6 minus 2 squared. Okay, so what's that going to be? Well, that's what, 64? Uh, that's 8 squared, which is 64. You can just do it on your calculator. Square root of 64 plus... Um, what, 4 squared is 16, so it's going to be the square root of 80. And I would leave it like that, personally. Um, it makes it a lot easier. All right, and now for the last part, um, part 2, which we can just, um, let's see, do right here. Um, it says, find the area of triangle B, okay, B, D, R, B, D, R. Okay, so that's going to be this. Okay, okay, well, it's a rectangle, we know that, so this is this is a right angle here, and we just found out that this is the square root of 80. Now, they told us before that A to D is square root of 45, 
so you kind of have to know that rectangles, um, opposite sides are congruent. So this is square root of 45. So, you know, you can just do base times height. Um, the area is going to be base times height divided by 2. So we will do area equals, you know, uh, square root of 45 times the square root of 80 divided by 2. Um, so, you know, you can bust out the calculator here and, you know, turn it on. Um, RAM cleared. So, um, second square root of 45. Make sure you arrow over um, times second square root, uh, second square root of 80. Okay, arrow over again. And it's order of operation, so you're fine. Um, we can just press enter with this. And then, oh, it's 60, so if we divide that by 2, we're going to get 30. All right, no problem there. So our area for this is 30. And I do not believe they say anything on the, on the units, so it's just put units squared. And you are good to go. Okay, so that, that one, has, that's a good problem. That has... Um, you know, gradient, perpendicular, parallel, it has distance formula, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, well, anyway, hope this helped out. Um, take it easy. Bye.